Hey everyone, uh, this is a video I wanted to make um, because we are doing some Photoshop actions for our Patreon. If you are in one of our tiers on Patreon, you get a Photoshop action per month. Um, we're all, we'll also be releasing those Photoshop actions in our shop, so I thought I would make a video really quick on how to quickly install our Photoshop actions and how to mess with it to make it work for your photo because not all actions are created equal and they will look different on everybody's photo so i just wanted to go over that real quick um for people who maybe haven't worked with actions too often um but first i wanted to say thank you to our patreons uh bethany thank you monica thank you and allison thank you for supporting us uh on patreon anyways let's get started um so i have the photoshop action uh in my file here so to install it it's already unzipped and everything um so to install it i just double click and you'll be like what just happened nothing happened uh in the actions panel that i have over here you can also go to uh window actions here um it's like looks like a little play button uh, the action is at the bottom of my action list now, and that means it's installed. Um, so I have it here. It's called Little Witch for this month. Uh, so um, if I wanted to uh, use this action on this photo I have, this is of Melting Mirror cosplay, by the way. Uh, use it on this photo. I would just click this. Oh, my camera's blocking it. Sorry. There's a play button. <sighs> Computer, please. There's a play button at the bottom of the actions panel, and you just go ahead and hit that, and the action will run. And it's gonna go um, a little crazy for a second. You're gonna be like, huh, what's happening? Um, but that's how it goes. There, I'm just gonna put my panel back. Uh, so here's the action, and all its glory. I'm gonna move my little. Boop, boop, boop. Didn't think that one through. Okay. <laughs> So here is uh, the action in all its glory. Here's it's completely open here. Um, so what I'm noticing, and like I said, all actions are not created equal. So uh, this action is going to look completely different on a photo that uh, was taken maybe in natural light or just has different lightings. Like even in the same set that we did with Melting Mirror, uh, like I'll mostly use one action for the whole set. But because the lighting changes slightly, even when we're consistently using a flash or something, just, you know, environment stuff, uh, I have to modify the action. So here's the breakdown of the whole action here. It's all in a folder and it's all here. So what I'm noticing right off the bat is her skin's a little too red. Um, and that's because this action has a lot of red tones in it. So I kind of want to click the little eyeballs next to each layer here. Uh, and see which one is making her skin look a little more red than I want. So, um, it's kind of a, you know, you just kind of play around. So, it looks like this one is the one that's bringing the warmness. Now, I like the warmness, it's just a little too warm. So, I'm going to click on the layer mask there, which is that white box. And uh, get my paintbrush and do it black because the layer mask is white so black I'm gonna erase basically um, so I have my color selection as black my opacity I'm gonna bring it down to like 60% um, and we're gonna uh, go over her skin area and I'm just gonna kind of get rid of the little bit of warmness there so now when i do before after like she's still warm but it's not her skin's not as red as it was before and then um other than her skin i didn't notice anything i personally was like annoyed about so uh i'm gonna like just click through and see if any adjustments in this action that maybe i want to change or don't like or you know uh, take back or add more so i just go and click through so do that real quick okay so this one uh makes her dress more red right so we have some vibrancy going on uh i don't mind her dress being a little more red um so again since this is uh 
this layer is taking the vibrancy down a little bit and I want more so I'm gonna use my black paintbrush I think I'm gonna keep it at I have it at 59% I think that's okay for me personally you can also since layer masks are forever undoable or resettable uh, it doesn't really matter so I'm just gonna go with the 60 ish percent and that looks good I don't want it to be full the hundred percent vibrancy because then it's just like way too much so we're just gonna go over her dress here with some of the red maybe even like boop on her lips because she's got red lipstick and there we go not as intense which is good um but still bringing it okay so i have that and we have the vignette okay so i have messed with what i want to mess with in this action personally um so i can show you the before and after i'm going to click the eyeball here's the file so this is before and this is after you know changing of the greens the red just a little bit just really some slight fun color changes with vignettes and uh, a little bit of haze maybe um, so that's how I mess with my Photoshop actions uh, that I use um, really easy and like I said it's not one size fits all so you know it might work really well for like this one I made minimal adjustments uh, so this this action worked really well for this photo it might not work well for another photo I have so I'll have to like tinker around and stuff like that uh, but I just wanted to share that with people because we are launching our actions on patreon and soon to be on our website so um, just wanted to share that little bit with you I hope this helped uh, if you want to support us, you can go to patreon.com slash elite cosplay and we have tiers for everybody. We got a lot going on. We're making a lot more videos now and um, some fun behind the scenes stuff. You should totally check it out and uh, I'll see you guys soon. Bye.